tonight. Who's there? It's Jason Robards with a word for Marsha Mason. Money can buy happiness. Well, how much is in the satchel? Six hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars. The fairy godmother she always dreamed of turns out to be her long-lost father with a fistful of stolen dollars. I don't want to be Cinderella. Whoever told you that abject poverty was a character builder was misinforming you. Neil Simon's Max Dugan Returns, tonight's 8 o'clock movie on Channel 2. Max Dugan Returns is an American family comedy film from director Herbert Ross and writer Neil Simon. It stars Marsha Mason, Jason Robards, Donald Sutherland, and a young Matthew Broderick. This movie even has the distinction of being Kiefer Sutherland's first film appearance. Produced by 20th Century Fox, the film was initially screened on March 25, 1983, which saw it in theaters alongside. Movies like Tootsie, Spring Break, Gandhi, and High Road to China. Max Dugan, a fading con artist, injects himself into the lives of his estranged daughter Nora and her son Michael with a shower of stolen cash and promises of a luxurious new life. But their newfound fortune attracts the watchful eye of Nora's suspicious boyfriend, an annoying police officer that likes to pry. This charming 80s gem boasts a stellar cast and a script that crackles with wit and heart. I'll admit that the movie got me a few times and I had to dry my eyes. Jason Robards shines, delivering one of his most memorable performances, and Matthew Broderick compliments him perfectly, even if his cigarette-ripping scene feels like a relic of a bygone era. Donald Sutherland, while intentionally an annoying and smarmy cop, adds a layer of delightfully eccentric tension. Director Herbert Ross masterfully crafts a film that's equal parts intriguing, humorous, and heartwarming. The family story resonates deeply, especially for those familiar with the struggles of financial hardship. Sure, there are minor hiccups in the performances, but the overall experience is undeniably positive. As someone who understands the sting of poverty, this movie spoke to me on a personal level. While not a masterpiece, it's definitely worth diving into at least once. Trust me, the good far outweighs the occasional misstep. So, if you're looking for a film with a strong script, engaging performances, and a touch of 80s nostalgia, then this is one you won't want to miss.